all right welcome back you guys this is going to be for gemini's it's going to be your no contact read okay we're going to see what's going on i don't know what happened to my light okay <laughs> all right gemini's so let's just get entwined let's just get entwined let's just get entwined i don't know let me just put it on fade let me see if it's gonna work because i don't know what happened is it plugged in okay now is it fading okay <laughs> all right y'all so let's just see what we have for y'all for the no contact all the information for me regarding myself will be in the description box i did break my nails don't look at it okay period <laughs> Your girl was cleaning and stuff and getting the energy all good in the house. Sometimes, you know, I do move things around. You should always move things around in your house and deep clean and stuff like that. All right. To keep your space positive and sage and bless your home. All right. All right. So let's just get Antoine and see what's going on with the no contact. The person that you're thinking about, the person that's thinking about you. Okay. If this does resonate, like I said, everything will be in the description for me. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at that. The five of wands. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father for Gemini's. No contact. A person that's Gemini's is thinking about. Wow. Two of cups in reverse. So confirmation right there that you guys are in a separation. I'm also seeing like there's a constant vibe of the five. So no matter what you do, even if this person does return, you're going to have to deal with this. This nonsense. This could be someone that you are trying to be like, you're trying to be number one in this person's life. This is what I'm seeing here. There needs to be a new direction. The page of wands. The wheel of fortune. Oof, look at all these. Uh-uh. Okay, the Eight of Swords, and then you have the Ten of Wands. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. The Queen of Pentacles and the Ten. So you have a lot of healing to do. Still. And also seem like whatever, whoever this person was, is like somebody that you had a lot of feelings for. And this person still have a lot of feelings for you. Just because the two of cups is in reverse doesn't mean that y'all don't love each other. It just means that you guys are not seeing eye to eye. You're in a separation for some of you. Well, yeah, you are. This is a no contact. And this person does want to reunite with you. Okay. Um, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like, you know what? It's a cycle between you and this person. You break up, you get back together, you break up, and now you're looking for a change. Like, you want a change. There is no change here. The Ace of Swords, this person is still having a lot of baggage, or you're still holding on to a lot of this person's baggage, meaning that you're not telling people the truth about what occurred or what happened. You're protecting this person. This person could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, or a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay, anybody else? <laughs> Or even a, um, a, what is it? A Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, sometimes Scorpio. Within this card right here, Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, okay? But I'm just seeing whatever this is, this person is just not coming off as a leader, you guys. This person is not coming off as creative, not coming off as someone that is going to provide, not coming off as somebody that is going to try to build an empire with you right now. They're coming off as someone that could be codependent, okay? This person is also coming off as someone that can be triggering you mentally, okay? I feel like this person doesn't know how to love you. They don't know how to move forward with you. They're not getting any new perspective. They're not feeling very passionate about themselves. They're just at a pause <laughs> right now. I'm getting this 10 of swords and it's like so much trials and tribulations, mental, oh my God, <laughs> mental and physical agony. Plus you're dealing with the baggage. Mm -mm. Something needs to give. Just like you said, in the wheel of fortune, you need to change okay we got we like this okay you have another five you have the five of one five of cups lined up together you have the seven of swords the king of cups oh the magician perfect and you have the six of swords and the queen of cups so you got um 
mutual feelings for each other like i said confirmation but you both are having this wall up so you don't trust each other okay um this ending was supposed to happen by the way the angels needed you guys to separate okay because there's something that needed to be done here and you couldn't do it together because you guys are stressing each other out <laughs> so the angels are like you know what let's just have these people take a break we they have work to do okay yeah divine timing is at play here you need to trust within the universe when it comes to your home when it comes to your future when it comes to your legacy and your legacy the ace of pentacles is going to be okay <laughs> a lot of you are worried it's going to be okay you're going to see this person again this person is looking at you as the zero so they want a new beginning okay they want to start over with you when this person does come back i don't feel like it's going to be even though right now it's like you guys are holding up like your feelings like you don't want this person to see how you feel for them they don't want you to see how they feel for you it's mutual it's mutual but y'all have y'all things that y'all going through y'all five y'all adversities so the five of wands a whole bunch of folks being in your business and or people trying to pull you apart and you're feeling like you know this person doesn't spend a lot of time with you this person you know puts you last same with this five of wands here emotionally you feel abandoned disappointed because you you really do like this person and you want a relationship with this person sag energy for those of you i'm seeing gemini virgo as well a lot of positive vibes are coming in even though there's a lot of lies that need to be recovered first look at that it's not right yet it's not time yet the holy spirit is saying like this person the reason why you guys are in reverse because there needs to be a new form of way the lies that this person was holding from you need to come out need to come out Virgo is also in reverse <laughs> with this hermit energy. So it's like, again, being pulled away from this person. I feel like the Holy Spirit is using this because you have a journey to, to, to take care of. You need to be a little bit more mature, a little bit more wiser. Something like you're receiving some form of download, but the Holy Spirit wants you to understand what this is all about. They want you to have this light bulb, this, this moment. And this person is clouding your judgment. So... It's like I'm seeing this separation. Like, you're going to understand this. You're going to understand why this took place. And also, you're going to be grateful for this. I'm also seeing a conversation taking place here. The Queen of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles energy. Ooh, okay. So there's been an emotional distance away from you and this person but i'm seeing an apology this person doesn't know how to provide for you or make you feel like number one i'm just getting like they're struggling with this this could be because whoever this person is is coming off as without problems <laughs> This is what I'm hearing without problems. There won't be any love. Like this person is just used to people or used to an environment of disaster or sabotage. And they think that by a relationship having this, because you're dealing with someone in reverse here, you're dealing with a, a masculine in reverse. But I'm seeing like this person is going to be apologizing because you have the six of wands energy. So the success. But I'm also seeing multiple people here. This doesn't have to be sexual partners. This could be people from their family who are starting problems. Because obviously you have the five of wands. Like you guys are fighting. There's this conflict. There's mutual people fighting against you. This person is overwhelmed, but they have to make a decision within these swords or else they're going to lose you. Because there's all, already some kind of um, distance between you and this person. And I'm already seeing that it's been a while. So this person that you guys are separated from, it seems like they were with somebody else. This is who's coming back. <sighs> right virgo energy major arcana but this person don't got no money i'm just seeing like somebody don't got no money that's returning but you still have this ten of pentacles energy ace of pentacles new situations are coming into your life for the better look at this even the magician the six of wands 
Of course. This person is dealing with some kind of karmic vibration. Because you got all the goodies. <laughs> they have unfinished business with you. I just... Like, they did not understand the message within the Ace of Swords. The Holy Spirit was trying to teach them something. But they made it so difficult. Look at that. The Empress. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Three of Cups. Okay. The Judgment and the Seven. Tell me more. What's this? The Justice. Oh, wow. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups energy in, in the back of the deck. <laughs> like I said, if this person don't get it, let me just be nosy. If they don't get it, because they need to tell you the truth. First of all, Seven of Swords, the Eight of Wands. They're moving real slow with this. They're still trying to be in control within the Seven of Wands energy here. Like holding things back from you. They're trying to find a way to come back. After all this time. I'm hearing time. Look at that. The Holy Spirit needs you to um trust them. I know I said that already, but I keep pointing back to that. Sag energy. Like there's no faith here. There's no trust here. Within the universe, someone lost something. They need you to nurture yourself. They need you to take care of yourself. Everything is going to be happening. This person have a tendency to just jump in things because I'm seeing them coming back and just having this like quick, quick energy with you. Like I'm seeing like this could be a friend. <laughs> like you guys could have been friends before y'all got together because when you get together, it's like a vibe. It's like you forget everything else. So it's not. I just feel like it's the noise that is the problem when it comes to this connection. Is the people that is the problem it's not you and this person but this person needs to know how to stand up for themselves and not fall into despair like this because i'm seeing like they're overwhelmed with this seven of cups and the seven of cups could be their family it could be multiple partnerships but you are the one that they're looking at they want to say sorry they're coming off as friends like they want to be friends with you or they want to start off as friends. But the thing is, they look at you as the empress energy. <sighs> Something that they did that made you felt worried or stressed or depressed. Because I'm seeing like you're not into that bubbly and that that um depression state anymore. I said bubbly. That depression state anymore. Okay. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, some kind of earthly energy. Because I'm seeing Virgo twice here. I'm seeing Taurus. This is Aries and Libra, Libra again, Scorpio and Aries, a whole bunch of energy, y'all. What is this? Remember to love. Teach me something new. Number five. So you're going through a lot of fives. Look at this. Five of cups, five of wands, five energy, y'all. Come on now. It's like you're here to teach this person. This person is coming off quite young. You're showing up as very older. This person wants to like forget this and move forward and celebrate with you. Okay. They haven't made a decision to move yet. The angels are giving them time to do this. The angels are here y'all within your reading. Hey, spiritual aspect one, two, and three. Okay. Karmic two. <laughs> judgment and justice in reverse. Uh, good karma is coming to you, honey. This person was unfair to you. This person lied to you. This is what's happening. Like the Holy Spirit wanted this person to tell the truth. But they're moving very slowly in the future energy. This is why I'm seeing you making your decision within the moon with your intuition and walking away from this person. Again, friendship. Something at work, y'all. Some of you might have uh, met through friends or you met this person through work. I'm seeing like both of y'all coming together could build an empire. Okay, but there's a lot of masculine too. Look at this. Divine victory being confirmed. <laughs> Divine victory being confirmed here. Hello. Look at this. Beautiful. Number six. Number six. Six of wands. Six. Divine victory. This is in your contract. <sighs> the ace of pentacles. Mm-hmm. 
okay this is in your contract this person can't take this from you they know that you are special and if they mess this up they ain't gonna get nobody else like you period you're old in energy they're going to be successful with you you're going to teach them a lot soul wise tell me more <laughs> divine of light talk about the lies y'all everything that's in the dark needs to come to the light this is a spiritual breakthrough so this is the ace of swords <laughs> ace of swords y'all being confirmed <sighs> the ace This person is going to have to like take responsibility. This could be someone that you married or you were thinking about marrying or you were engaged to. Okay. Angels are saying have strength. And then I'm seeing the nine of swords. Again, the nine of swords here. Be careful. They're saying that you release this force of energy, but be careful not to fall into it. Be careful not to fall into this trap again. A lot of you are dealing with someone like you, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. And look at this confirmation. Remember that good karma shall follow you always and forever because you deserve it. Okay. <laughs> and what's the last card, Holy Spirit? Ooh, this is a choice for you. You could choose a new relationship or you could choose <sighs> this past one that's coming back to you. A lot of you are already in this relationship. I just felt I just felt like a lot of you moved on and you're going to have a choice within this, too. But this is what I have, y'all. I hope that this resonates. <laughs> if this does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. And sorry it was so short, but I just want to take it easy tonight. Tomorrow we'll start up again for the month. OK, and we start up and push out all the videos tomorrow. And yeah, see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.